champions every day, 1% better. That's what we do. For the newcomers, I need attention, maximum three minutes. The OGs, okay, when I will ask questions, those who really have, ask. Look, you can always hear then the mechanics all who, who are here 100 years, they always advise to the customer, listen, after the active hammering, give that one minute for turbo to rest. And in the morning, the first start, also give that 30 seconds, one minute for turbo to do what? Today I will give you clarity what exactly is that magic behind why the turbos are going bad if we, when we start, we rev, and what happens if we, after active hammering, if we off the engine immediately. So, see what is inside here. Let's start with what happened if in the morning, after the first start, you rev immediately. What happened? There is something called oil tank, right? And during the night, with the gravity, all the oil is going out. That means the oil tank is empty. When you start the engine, you need to give those seconds for oil to come and fill it up. Because shaft is swimming always in the oil between the shaft, between the shaft and the, and the bushings called bearings. There is always oil pillow. If you start and immediately rev that oil pillow disappears and now is going metal to metal. What happened metal to metal? 120 RPM. What happened? Trouble. It's heat ups and, and, and sometimes shaft get blue. Then this is the reason why we, we give that 30 seconds or one minute. Okay, by book is like two minutes or something, but who have two minutes? Okay, then you advise we are checking our phones constantly, right? So what you do? Start your car, this is the good time. Seat belt, check your phone, answer, ta -ta -ta -ta. put it down, adjust your mirrors, you are good to go. This is where you spend your 30 seconds or one minute, right? And your turbo survive forever if you do that. Now the question why we should, after, after active hammering, why we should give another like one minute to cool down. What exactly is cooling down? Let me show you. This side is working on the exhaust gases, okay? And there is, who know the temperature, working temperature? Eight plus 800 degrees. This you need to know, this, this numbers you need to know in, in the midnight, okay? What happened if plus 200 degrees, you pour the oil, just constant oil, it start boil, and it's catching up and it's turning to the carbon immediately. I, I have done an experiment where we put it on the gas in the spoon oil, and what happened, and we measure it. It reached just 300 degrees, and in, immediately start boil and turn to the carbon immediately, okay? So, okay, there is a heat shield. You see this, this called heat shield. But what this heat shield can protect if the oil immediately stops flowing and it's standing there, is boiling. When it is boiling, it starts to uh, start make carbon pieces. Those carbon pieces one day will come and stop in this, in this, this called nozzle in a bearing. When that nozzle is, is blocked, oil no more coming. This is beginning of end your turbocharger. Then what we do, after active hammering, we stop and we give that one minute. Turbo is still spinning and oil is going through. I'm not talking about water-cooled turbochargers. Water-cooled turbochargers, different story. After you, after hammering, just off and that's all. Because it is already in very, very solid temperature. I can say it's quite safe. But those who don't have water cooling turbos, we still need after active hammering, uh, like drilling machines, 
uh, all the mining equipment, they are climbing the hill, they are going with the full speed, and then immediately he park and off. This is when he will cook his turbo one touch, okay? Any questions? Yeah, um, I want to find out if I'm stuck in traffic for some time, mm -hmm. do I still also have to off the engine for one minute? Good question. Uh, look, when you are already, your engine is idling, there is no those super high temperatures. You don't need. Now you are in traffic going one, one meter or you are going very, very smooth drive and then you stop. I will not say, yes, you still need. No, just forget about it. In, in, in town, this town uh, riding, you don't need to wait this another minute or whatever. Just off it and forget about it. But after, uh, like on the highway, sometimes uh, police stop you or you are going to buy fuel, then you go inside and immediately you stop, you off it. Don't do that. Give those 30 seconds for turbo to cool down and oil will be keep circulating and it will not be start boiling inside, okay? So this is simple. I cannot, of course, I can explain for you also like in, in Spanish with the very fancy words, uh, turbine side, uh, but let's, let's keep it simple, okay? Because you should be able to explain to the customer where he can also understand because in, on daily basis you are not communicating with the engineers who create turbocharger you are speaking with the people who are using this equipment and the 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 better you are able to explain you know when it is good language when person can understand you not when your ring wow wow is perfect but when actually he can understand you if he cannot understand you, your English is your problem, okay? I would, I would uh, like to add about this idling uh, before you start driving and, and after you finish. It's also not only for the turbo, but also for the whole engine system uh, and also the gearbox that you uh, get up the pressure, get everything, pistons and uh, all the crankshafts get greased. And after that uh, hard driving or heavy driving, it also uh, helps to all fluids get back to their yeah. uh, main level and it's keep, keep uh, maintenance and uh, exactly, everything smoother. Exactly. But this will come automatically. If you will just tell to the machine owner to focus on the turbo, focusing on the saving turbo, he will save all entire engine. Because what happened when you start engine, especially in that countries where it's like zero or minus 10 or minus something. When you start the engine, piston get heat first and piston should transfer, all that heat should transfer, uh, trans, uh, transfer and all must expand gradually. But when you hammer there will be more fuel immediately inside. There will be more horses inside. And what happened? Piston expand faster. Lining don't catch up with that. What happened? They start stacking. Stacking or when they start uh, stacking, there is no more even space for the oil. And it is the friction is too high. If you are not lucky, there is a, so many situations when cold engine. Uh, OK, in Ghana, the Cold weather is what? Plus 25, right? When you are taking more onion and more <laughs> take care about immunity because outside the weather is not helping plus 25. <laughs> <laughs> For engine is not dangerous. It's not cold. For engine, cold starts from like plus five or, or, or zero or minus five. And this is when, when you start and immediately hammer, high chance you will be always in square one with your turbos, with your engine, with your gearbox, with everything. There is no good car for you yeah. if you, and you start, you rev. Somebody even, he start the car and he want to hear if turbo is functioning. First, what he do is listen. It's not a violin. We don't need to listen turbocharger. Just start, give that 30 seconds or one minute and go. That's all. That's nice. Good. So that's it. Thank you.